Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I'm back in The Sims 4 with our 100 Horses Challenge. Before we jump into the challenge and get our work done, I'm gonna show you what I did. Obviously, you see the house is different. The house is huge now. It looks huge, but it's not really that, that huge. It's also not done. I definitely need to lower this peak. Actually, I'm gonna do it before we take a little tour. There's nothing inside. It's just... I don't know. I, I basically only did the shell, um, but I might still make the shell bigger. It's it's up in the air. So I will show you the downstairs first and then we'll kind of take a look at the upstairs, which is not done. It doesn't even have lighting in it, I don't think yet. Uh, so basically their house is just going to be under, under construction for a minute. Now, the, this is the back. You can see it doesn't really, it's not all that much. Um, I'll probably have to extend this out just because I don't think there's enough room in the upstairs area. So the downstairs, it's literally the same. Um, I did expand this room. It's a little bigger. I shouldn't say literally the same then. But uh, this is just a little bigger and then I extended the hallway because I did try to do it without extending the hallway and the door would not fit. So I just did that. I was like, it doesn't hurt anything. And then uh, I didn't really do any organizing down here yet. And then if we go upstairs, this is the little studio apartment that we're going to have. Now it, it's also not done. <laughs> uh, I really, I'm debating everything. I just don't know how I want it yet. And I'm open to some comment suggestions, but basically it's going to be like a studio. It's all going to be open plan, except for the bathroom. I think I'll do it a closed in bathroom. I wasn't sure if I was even going to do a bathroom up here, but I was like, oh, of course I need to. They're going to be sharing the bathroom downstairs. No way. So that's why I think I need to extend, extend it a little bit more. I might just go out here or something. We'll see because I don't love that window anyway. But that's that's all up in the air. And we only have like the little kitchenette area. It's not going to be a full kitchen. It's going to be probably like toaster oven kind of kitchen. Um, we got the bed. I thought this was cute for Teresa. Um, nice cream colors. And that's all. We have the money and everything. We just haven't done anything yet. I mean, I didn't even paint the walls. And that's just it's just a good example. Like we're showing the construction pro progress, right? So anyway, jumping back to the horse stuff, everybody's kind of just standing around right now. I am going to take a look at our list here. So we're going to go down the line and I think Ivy's going to be the next one. Now she is level eight agility and jumping. It's going to be a close one. It's going to be a close one, but I think if we really work hard, we can get her to um, her new home. But we'll see. We'll see. So we need to work on agility and jumping. Maybe, where is Ivy? Let's go ahead and have Pine work on her. Now she is sad. Let's maybe cheer her up a little bit. So we'll work on that. And then I'm going to grab Hadley. And well, let's first see. Kinsley and Juniper really need work on everything at this point. They are... Kind of just, just hanging out, you know? I'm almost thinking they'll do agility. Let's direct them to race the barrels. So we have... Okay, never mind. Can they not practice barrels? That was the problem. Juniper there. And then we'll do Kinsley over here. Oh, we need to fix these barrels. But we'll do Kinsley in a second. So let's... Oh, gosh. I'm getting I'm getting confused here. We need Kinsley on these barrels over here. Whenever, of course, the barrels are fixed. So practice barrels and Kinsley. Now, the next horse is our newest horse, Luca. He's got not yet a whole point of temperament yet. So we need to work with him. I don't know where he is. There he is. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Let's do a gentle touch. So we do need to kind of introduce ourselves to little baby Luca. Oh my gosh, such a cutie. And we're going to cradle and talk to. Brushing coat is always the nice go-to one that we like to do. Harvest Fest is tomorrow. That's fun. <laughs> All right. And we got level five agility for Kinsley. Temperament level two for Luca. Such a good good baby. I'm definitely going to bottle feed Luca because I'm not even quite sure that Luca knows how to eat hay yet. 
Luca's just a baby. Was just born into this world. All right, let's uh, scratch neck and just take care of baby Luca. And Pine, how's Pine doing? We do need to keep an eye on Pine. Pine and Ivy. They're doing great. It looks like Hadley, or sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, what are their names? Juniper and Kinsley have stopped doing whatever they were doing. So that's not fantastic. All right. Brush coat, bottle feed. I can't see here. Uh, Scratch neck, scratch neck. Bottle feed again. Sure. Make sure you have a happy tummy. Looks like we're going to level three. Yes. Level three of temperament. Heck yes. And brush coat. Brush coat. Brush coat. Brush coat. We got four brush coats in a row. Five brush coats in a row. That's perfect. Look at that temperament going up. We love it. All right. Let me pause for a second. I want to check on you. Okay. Of course you are not doing what I want you to do. Let's go ahead and mount Ivy here. And then I, I'm i sure she's just the same, yeah. Let's go agility, well, uh, jumping, sorry. We're going to intensely train. And then you are ne going to need to get the girls over here. So direct horse to practice barrel, Kinsley. And then direct horse to practice barrels, Juniper. Back to Hadley. Oh man, brush coat, brush coat. Nope, pause for a second, brush coat. Brush coat, brush coat, brush coat, brush coat. All right, that's all we can do, right? <laughs> it's as much brushing of the coat that we can fit in our queue right now. Look at that, ah, I'm so excited. It'll be, it'll be, before we know it, this baby is gonna be all leveled up. All right, I'm sorry, Where, what are you doing? I don't, Pine is not listening to, <gasps> Pine's going to chat with Prisha. No, 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 no. We're going to fix these horse jumps. And then we're going to go back to Ivy. And then we're going to mount. And then we're going to work on that. Let's bottle feed, whisper to, scratch neck, scratch neck. Okay. And then back to Pine. We're going to make sure Pine is working. Can't be, can't be not working. We're trying to get this baby leveled up. Intensely trained, please. Thank you. All right, back to Hadley. Teresa's just taking a little bit of the day off. She's planning, she's planning her interior. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Brush coat is an option. Let's continue. Every time I see brush coat, I'm gonna try to, oh, I was gonna say, I'm gonna try to pause so I can get as many brush coats in there as I possibly can. All right, let's check on Pine. What's happening here? Intensely train. Okay, yep. Everything's going great. Let's go for Teresa. I did forget to assign her her new bed upstairs. Honestly, she can stay downstairs for as long as she needs until the, the house is good up there. All right, we're going to direct horse to practice barrels. Juniper, please. And then direct horse. Oh, we got to fix this and get Kinsley on those barrels. Okay. I'm determined. This is gonna all happen. All right, let's go and direct horse to practice barrels. Wait, did I have Kinsley do that or Juniper? I don't even remember anymore. Okay, we're good. We're on track. We're on track. Um, going back to Hadley though. Oh my goodness. Brush coat. Brush coat. Can I brush coat some more, please? Temperament. Discuss secret lives of animals. Brush coat. <laughs> brush coat. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go back to Pine. So we really want to get that level up with this girl. Ivy, we need to get you into a new home. We need to get our new baby. Come on, we got this. Um, what are you doing with love in there, Teresa? Oh, do you have a thing for Prisha? Prisha is just like trying to get with everybody in this house. Goodness. Oh, man. I'm going to harvest all. And then we're gonna go back to Pine. Actually, no, I need to go back to Hadley because she stopped with the baby. Brush coat, brush coat, uh, scratch neck, brush coat, brush coat, scratch neck. Okay, now back to Pine. All right, let's fast forward this. Now I do know that Kinsley and, I said Luca, uh, their names, the, 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 the ones that we were training, they're not doing what they need to do because one broke the barrels and the other one just gave up. So we shall keep an eye on that. It looks like Pine also gave up. 
<laughs> Today is not the day, is it? All right, let's have maybe, what if we direct horse to race barrels and we did ivy? That just might be something that she can do for now. She'll be doing it on her own. And then, okay, wait, uh, direct horse to practice basic jumps. Juniper, direct horse to practice basic jumps. Kinsley. And then they could work on that for a little while. And then we could check in on the baby. Like, why not, right? We can call the baby over. All right, and the baby's here. Hi, baby. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Tell a joke. Fun. All right, looks like Ivy gave up again. <laughs> Ivy's very confident in not practicing. That's what she's very confident in. Now let's check her bio here. All right. So she's agility nine, jumping eight. We're doing pretty good. We're making very good progress. I think I still, it's unclear whether or not we're going to get her leveled up by the end of the episode, but I'm remaining hopeful for that. All right. It is almost bedtime. I'm going to see if I can get some brush and coats in here. Maybe Hadley can take care of Ivy. Ivy is excellent in excellent condition. I don't, I don't, I think she took a nap before we started this episode. All right. So we're going to intensely train. Come on, girly. We've got this. Yes, it's going to be great. Um, and then Teresa, before you go to bed, I'm going to have these babies start practicing again. Okay. Actually, I lied because Juniper, they're practicing already. All right. Um, Pine is in your room, so maybe we'll have Pine go to sleep. He could take he could take the, the the night to sleep today, and then we'll get Hadley to bed a little bit later. And then we're just gonna we're gonna grind all night here. <laughs> we're going we're going for the win. It's gonna happen if she stops, unless this horse is fatigued, which happens. You know the horse gets fatigued, and then we have to take a break for a little while. We're going to keep going. And, and also, unless they're thirsty, they do need to get drinks and food breaks every now and then. Um, they will stop to do that. But let's go intensely trained. So Juniper got jumping level 7, which is really incredible. Oh, no. All right, let's see. How are you? She's still excellent somehow. I'm actually not sure how that's even possible. Uh, but we'll go ahead and mount. Also, Kinsley, I swear... That that was, I made that her not everyday outfit. <laughs> but, uh, apparently it's her everyday outfit. So, it's fine. It's fine. Keeps her warm in this cool autumn weather, I guess. Alright, I actually want to slow it down. We're about halfway with the jumping, or sorry, the barrel racing, the agility. And that's going to be level 10 that we'd be maxing. Which is so exciting. It's 1am. We probably should go to bed soon. But we'll swap them out in a little bit. All right, she's sad from missing her furry friends. I love that because, you know, she's technically with her furry friend right now. But hey, <laughs> hey, what, what am I, who am I to say that that is good enough for you? Oh my gosh, we're so close. How are you doing? Somehow still excellent. Honestly, we're going to, we're going to ride this wave and she's going to keep going. I like how Hadley's breath is so cold out that you can see her breath. Oh man. Anyway, uh, Teresa's up. Teresa's up, so I need to bring them out here. We're going to direct horse to practice advanced jumps. We're going to get Juniper and Kinsley on here because they are all rested, or they should be anyway. If they're not, they need to handle that themselves because I can't control them. All right. So after this, after they stop, I'm going to have Hadley dismount and then whoever, like Pine or Teresa, can take over. All right, Ivy just reached agility level 10. Oh my gosh, how about that? So Pine is awake. Oh, no, Pine is awake. So I need him to come out here. Um, hopefully she'll get off of the horse. There we go. So we're going to see how Ivy's doing. We'll give her a neck scratch and tell her she's a beautiful horse. We are going to push it for the jumping. We need to wait till somebody's done. Is Okay, this jump's broken over here. So what we can do is fix the horse jumps and get ready to train Ivy. So we'll call her over. It is Harvest Fest. And I know we should be celebrating. We can celebrate still. Um... Pine and Ivy can really work, and then Teresa and Hadley can kind of get ready for Harvest Fest. All right, so we're going to intensely train these jumps, okay? 
It's gonna happen. You come out here and harvest all of these apples. And also, I don't really know who's the cook in the family. I think it's technically Teresa. So we're going to cook a grand meal. It's gonna be a nice tofurkey dinner. It's gonna be lovely, wonderful. It's gonna be delicious. Let's check on Pine. I need to keep watch on him. So we do need to go up two levels on this one. Um, on jumping with Kinsley, uh, uh, with Ivy. All right, uh, let's intensely train. Let's keep this up. She is looking a little upset, honestly, Ivy is. All right, Prisha, thank you so, oh, we've got gnomes. All right, well, let me uh, throw that away. Did the, did the thing, get okay, she's still cooking it. I was nervous there for a second. Like Prisha, you know, we want her to be part of the family, but she just hits on everybody. So I just don't know what to do there. But we could invite her to stay over for a meal, I guess. Ugh. Um, no. I feel like we should start a horse riding club, though. <laughs> All right. Um, I think Teresa's broken. Cool. I'm going to put this here. I do want to do a call to Grand Meal, but also Pine. We need to... Let's fix these horse jumps here. And then I'm going to have... You know what, Pine? It'll be fine. All right, you can go ahead and intensely train again. Oh, Ivy's starting to look sad. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. All right, um, let's call to grand meal. We're gonna partake in this grand meal here. And then hopefully Prisha will come grab a plate too. I don't know though, she seems like she's a little stuck or something. And Pine, I know I did call to grand meal, but you're not included, I'm sorry. All right, I could talk to the gnomes and everything, but like, I could sell the gnomes also. That would be a nice little bump in money because we are, in fact, building a whole extension onto the house. So it would be nice. I kind of, well, she's not sad anymore. I don't know if they went and got a drink or like what happened there. All right, let's go for, okay, these girls are having such a good time. Pine missed out on the grand meal, <laughs> unfortunately. I'm going to sell our gnomes for 200. Like, bye guys. This is gonna pay for our, our kitchen upstairs. All right, Ivy's now jumping level nine. So we are not too far from the end of the episode. So I think it's good timing. I think we might have a similar situation to last episode. Uh-oh, looks like this is broken. We should probably repair that. Now we want to be in the thankful spirit. So maybe we can get Teresa over here and be in the thankful spirit i guess i don't know can we just chat small talk share thankful spirit let's check on pine all right so it looks like the horse jumps are baribkin and should we keep going i don't know i fear for ivy because ivy isn't like feeling good but also there hasn't been any complaints <laughs> so we're going for it all right these two are in the thankful spirit. Let's uh, share Harvest Fest spirit as well with uh, Teresa back from, because Hadley had done it. Anyway, so holiday gnomes, nope. Nope, don't want to do that. I didn't, I already sold them, so we don't speak of that. I can't fit this. I still can't get this out of my inventory, so that's a little problematic. But if I place it in the world... I should be able to move it with in, in build mode, so we'll, we'll do that. All right, they're just chatting and having a good time. Let's check on Pine. Okay, Pine and Ivy are just hanging out. All right, let's fix the horse jumps. Can I, like, have direct horse to eat, refill? What do I want to do here? Let's check Ivy's situation here. All right, she has quite a bit of ways to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dismount. And I am going to have Pine join their conversation over here. Because it's... Ivy needs a break. I, I'm calling it. I'm saying Ivy needs a break. She has worked really hard for us. And we're going to just let her take a moment. This this Harvest Fest. And... Oh, don't do that. Uh, and then they'll get back to it. You know? It's going to be fine. All right. Likes jokes, why not? Uh, Prisha's leaving for the holiday. I'm so glad she was able to join us. Let's see here. Grand meal. Doo -doo -doo. Um, let's... Is she singing? She's singing right now. 
<laughs> she's singing. She's just singing about Harvest Fest. Honestly, you go, girl. You sing. You sing your heart out. This is such a, a nice holiday, and I hope your friends and family share the same spirit. It's great. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm just glad. Her and Piner. I don't know where Teresa went. Oh, okay. They're all done. They're all done. Okay. So it is 8 p.m. They can all kind of take a break while the horses take a break. And we'll come back to it. I still don't know if this is her regular outfit or what's happening there. I thought she was just forever stuck in this, so I don't I don't really know. Um, I could do shifts. Because Teresa Hadley, sorry, Hadley had uh slept last, so everybody else can sleep first. So we'll go ahead and have Hadley work on the training. We'll practice advanced jumps. And then let's go back to Pine. So Pine is already ready to sleep. I'm going to have Teresa sleep in here. And Hadley, let's go watch you. And we shall... We should have put the other guys on the jumps. But it's Harvest Fest. We're going to let that all slide. All right. Let's just... We're just waiting it out at this point. This needs evolving. Let's do that. All right, yeah. I'm just going to kind of sit back and watch. And we're going to hope that we can level up. I don't know, though. I'm not feeling, like, super hopeful about this. Because we did take a little bit of a break. And, uh, oh, Pine is awake. Pine is awake. What time is it? Okay, it's 1 a.m. That's about the time they usually wake up. Okay, Teresa, why don't you get the other kids working? So we'll direct horse to race barrels. No, sorry. Okay, well, Kinsley can race barrels, I guess. And then direct horse to practice barrels and Juniper. All right. So she's sad because the Harvest Fest was awful. I hate that. Like, if they, I feel like if we celebrated even a little bit of it, it should be acceptable. All right. Um, you can trot here while she fixes those jumps, and then we're going to go ahead and start intensely training. Now, hopefully we'll see by the morning. Oh, no, Hadley's going to have to go to sleep soon. Okay, we'll get Hadley to sleep soon. Um, let's get Teresa fixing these barrels. I think that was Juniper's, right? So Juniper needs to be directed to practice. And then um, she could... She could probably scratch neck, brush coat, uh, bottle feed. Let me see here. Let's see, brush coat, brush coat, brush coat, brush coat. There we go. That's good. That's that's more like it. <laughs> All right. It looks. Uh, this looks very promising because we're almost at the halfway mark with Ivy. So I'm very much hoping that for success here. Juniper is the one that's looking the most sad right now. Um, let me, I'm going to have to switch out Pine and Hadley unless, unless we just wing it and Hadley like sleeps through the day because I think in between episodes again, I'm going to, I'm going to try in between each episode to do a little bit of work, if not all of the work on the extension of the house on the add on. Uh, so we'll probably do a little bit of expansion and then I'll probably do some furnishing, hopefully. If not, like, at least painting the house, you know? We can paint it and, and do some simple things. All right. I need to figure out... Pine is just kind of hanging around. I need to get... Okay, he can fix the horse barrels. So you can make sure that Juniper is practicing over here and then Pine can make sure Kinsley is practicing over here. So we'll practice Kinsley, great, we love it. And then maybe Pine can come over here and brush Luca's coat, we really get to know Luca. And then perhaps he can go ahead and harvest all. I think Luca, yeah, Luca's almost at the next level. Is that gonna be level eight, I think? I think that's gonna be level eight. We're going to give Luca a big old hug. Teresa is anyway because she she needs it. She needs a hug. All right. And then we're going to see. Actually, does she make a face at the end? No. I was like, I'm still, they're still so like dead in the face with their expressions when they do uh, horse jumping and stuff and riding. All right. Uh, we're going to fix these horse jumps. Oh my gosh, she's so close to being leveled up. Let's see what percentage we're at. We're at 81%. She's at 
Should we let her kind of like do whatever she wants? And then Hadley, actually Hadley needs to go to sleep. Let's have Hadley take a little nap, a little nap sees. And then we'll have Pine come out and he can work on uh, her. She needs to get cheered up and all of that. So let's make sure she is good and we don't, we don't want to stress her out too much. But also at the same thing, like at the same time, we should probably get going. <laughs> All right, Ivy, let's get to training. We're going to intensely train. We are on the last leg of this race. All right, you are angry from the sun hatred, but it's literally fall. So I don't think you hate it all that much. Although it kind of is the desert. So it probably is pretty brutal, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, it's snowing out. So it can't be that bad, right? <laughs> Harvest all, and then ask about controlling temper, scratch neck, brush coat, brush coat, brush coat, brush coat, great. Okay, where is Pine? Pine is just hanging out here. Okay, we need to fix this. Fix the horse jumps, please. And we're going to get this going. This this has been, it's been rough. Like, she needs to... Oh, She's so close. 92%. We've got this, guys. We've got this. Also, Hadley, did you sleep? I feel like maybe the TV was on or something and she woke up. It's fine. We'll get them to sleep. They can rest after, after our girl has leveled up. But also, ah, there she is. Level 10 jumping. Oh my gosh, stop. Everybody stop what they're doing. Um, we're going to dismount Ivy. Oh my gosh, Ivy. I'm so proud of you, Ivy. All right, so that means if we go into Ivy's profile, look at her, she's ready to go. She's got two awards, but one's a, only one's a, a gold medal. <laughs> but I'm so proud of her. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. And then she's at the 20,000 value, so that's perfect. And she has tens across the board, so that means we're gonna go ahead and call the Ranch Animal Exchange, and we're going to sell Ivy. Oh my gosh. It's been so nice to have you, Ivy. We love you so very much, but it's time for you to go. Have a fun at your new home. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I want to cry every time. All right. So that means you guys know what that means. We're going to recall up the animal exchange and we're going to, okay, wait, hold on. I guess we got to wait for Ivy to remove, be removed from our house. Hadley, I changed my mind. You're calling the ranch animal exchange we could go to rescue horse again i kind of wanted to see what our options are and let's uh go from there if we don't really have good traits then we'll we'll go ahead and purchase a horse all right and then this one will be what is this a b c d e f g h i j k l m this will be an m name all right so we have two foals here we have daisy this one's gonna look just like um arctic she's the same exact lip and zanner and she's aggressive we don't we don't need that australian stock horse we had no we didn't i don't know pine nut he's fearful and defiant these are all adult horses let's see what we've got in terms of the purchasable horses so let's purchase a horse and uh, are we going to do that? Hello? Hello? I think she's chatting with Teresa. Okay. Oh my goodness, look! Oh, I love... We've got a little bit of a defiant trait, but that's okay. What about you, Rainbow? Free spirit, intelligent, and friendly. Mm, do we want defiant or do we not? <laughs> oh my gosh. I kind of want to get this one. And then there's also this one that... I don't know, Gerland? Gedlinger? Ged, Ged, Gel, Geldinger. Geldinger. Gel, Gel, I don't know. Don't ask me. Um, and then we have this on the Stella Francais. Um, yeah, a boomer is an elder horse. I think I want to get Rainbow, though. Rainbow's a full filly, free spirit, intelligent, and friendly. So she is a Percheron, Percheron horse. It's definitely the first time we've had this one, so we're good. Perch, Iran. And then she is going to have an M name. We can't keep Rainbow. 
L M N O P Q R. Oh, no, we're too far. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get Rainbow. I'm going to look here. We have Maeve, Madeline, Maverick, Mateo, Mason, Maya. Maya is a, a good one. Mia. Um, I almost want to do Maeve. Maeve, Mary. There's a lot of there's a lot of good ones here. Should we do Maeve? I think I'm going to do Maeve. M A E V E Mave and I'm gonna spell it sorry <laughs> M A E V E Mave There you go girly Welcome to the family So we have Mave and Luca as our babies All right so we're gonna is anybody in here already No So Hadley you're gonna go here We're going to unlock this and we're gonna call Mave over Nope, I need you to go here, Hadley, please. If you could hurry as well before all the horses get out, that would be great. Thank you. And then we're going to lock for all horses. Oh my goodness. So Maeve does look a lot like um, Juniper. But Juniper is a barb horse. So they kind of have the same dappling pattern. But no, actually it's more... It looks like she has more dappling and he... Sorry, it's like a light dappling. Is it dappling? Oh gosh, now I'm, I'm second guessing it. Anyway, we're gonna do a gentle touch and we're going to, um, I guess get stable gossip. I was gonna do a little brush coat. Yeah, let's get to know our baby here. So this one's interesting. The hair is very interesting. We got a little brown at the top. <laughs> <laughs> little Maeve. All right, we're going to cradle and tell a joke. So this is, I'm going to put Maeve in create a sim. We're going to keep her as, as good as, as, as this. I might put a little bow on her or something, but we're going to get rid of the saddle blanket. I just don't really like to have foals in costume, if you will. If you're interested in becoming a channel member to unlock exclusive bonus members only content, definitely check the link in the description down below, or there's a join button as well. Definitely check that out. There's already lots of exclusive content that you'll immediately unlock. And then I try to upload at least one video per week. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.